Hi guys, Cindy here. So today we're going to try out some um, water decals. First, the nails I've got that I'm gonna put them on are just the ones, I did these last Tuesday, and so I've had them on about a week. Um, they're my Apri, let me show you the box. I'm gonna put it both ways. These, these Apri short sculpted rounds. I thought they would be easier to type in, but um, I don't know if it was the keyboard or not. I was on a different computer or a different workstation than my own, and they were kind of hard to type in, but it could have been because they was those little flat chiclet keyboards. Now, I have changed the color twice, so this is the third color I had them without the nails. The only thing I change is this one finger is the injured finger. And I will pull it off every night and let it rest. So I did create a new nail this morning. So it's a size smaller than this one here because I didn't want to waste, you know, the ones of my regular size. And I don't know if I'm going to redo my nails tomorrow or not. I might. So today, let's do some water decals. So I needed something that would go with lavender. This is the only decals I've got. There's some like abstract um, faces on there. At the time, I thought, oh, that is so cool. I really want that. And so... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a couple fingers, not probably not all of them, but a few fingers. And I already kind of looked through them. Let's see, can you guys see this stuff? I already looked through them and I kind of thought that top one that I had on top would work best. These might work. Let's hold those out. And these have got some lavender in it. And the rest, well, I'll show you all of them here. So. They just kind of abstract different colors. Probably, you know, you got some cool tones and some warm tones and then some grays. And then it had a little instruction sheet. So, let's do this a couple. I already tried these out once and it's a good thing because, uh, you know, it's not that hard. But there's a little bit of skill to it. Let's see the instructions say, um... I can see this. It's awful small font. Clean your nails well and dry thoroughly. Okay, mine are dry. Remove the film off the product. Okay, that is the top one, and it really works best if you kind of remove it first. Um, I think we're going to do this one. Uh, cut out the desired portion and dip into water for 10 to 20 seconds. Moisten your finger now using tweezers. Gently slide on the sticker. Okay, so it sounds pretty easy, and I've seen people do them, and it looks pretty easy, but it was a little bit uh, trickier for me. So we'll start it. Let's take this off, and let's cut us off a couple. We're just going to do a couple of fingers, and it seemed like your um, my dominant hand was easier to do than the non-dominant hand. So... And another thing too, when I did it before, I did a white background and that was just a little bit too white. So let's, um, let's do these two, one for each hand. We'll do one thumb and then one other. Probably I should do the same finger each, but we didn't. Or I might do some more later. So we will start with the thumb. Here's my glass of water. And I took the cover off. So we cut that off. But it's so sitting there. Uh oh, sinking to the bottom. Can y'all see that? Okay, so there we are. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dip that in there. And let's see if we can get this off. It's probably been 10 or 20 seconds. I've heard these called like slide decals too. And they're supposed to just slide right on. Okay. So we're gonna leave this alone. And after it dries, I will top coat it. So let's try another finger. That was the second biggest one. So let's stick the water back over here so you guys can see and stick that in there 
And I think that's going to be, I'm going to do the ring finger with that one. So I wetted that. Okay, fell in again. Uh-oh. It's sinking like a log. Okay, <laughs> see what happened? It did come off. Let's see if we can still use this or if we have to get a different one. Okay, let's just get a different one. So, let's try a different one. I'll be more careful this time. So even though you get 10 of these, unless you're like super expert at it, I wouldn't count on using 10 of them. Like this one, he fell to the bottom. There we go. I'm sure that was in there 20 seconds. So let's see if we can get this off. There we are. It's sliding off now. So, this here, I'm doing my right hand with my left hand, and I am right-handed. I do use the computer a lot with my left hand to save my arm a little bit, but I've trained myself how to use that mouse on the left hand, but typically I am right-handed. So, so, this is what they look like. We've got one thumb and one other one. And as soon as these dry in a second, I'm going to top coat them. So, let me get the top coat. These might be kind of big, too. I don't know. I did get a compliment on them. Last week, I did some, and I did some nails I don't really like. There was some new square nails, and I don't know if I made a video with that or not, or if I just did them. Uh, I wasn't that excited with them. It wasn't a prize. I get kind of spoiled to the a prize. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and top coat this before I have a chance to mess it up too much. I think the sculpted nature of these, these would work better on flat nails uh, because that it's um, sculpted. It's got a little bit of a give, you know, it wants to see, look at that when I painted it. I guess I should have let it dry. Too bad, so sad. Okay, lesson learned, let them dry. All right, so we tried it. I was able to do them. Um, I think I let them dry better last time than I did this time. It's because I did actually wear them on a couple of nails and I did get a few compliments, uh, but I got jumped the gun about the um, top coating and so it messed up. So anyway, there you go. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.